Why do some YouTube creators only make videos on a smartphone? Well, some are too lazy to open their computer and they want to go ahead and edit everything on a phone and upload videos to YouTube as soon as possible. Others don't want to dive deep into all these difficulties of editing on a computer and it's better to take a smartphone and make a video on the go. In general, it doesn't matter why you decided to edit videos on your smartphone, it's important what you will be editing, because there are different apps out there and each of them has its own features and fits different types of editing. And today Today, I will show you such applications that will allow you to make awesome videos on your phone, not less awesome as on your computer. Let's go! Hi, my name is Roman and this is Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. You probably already understood from the title of this video that today we will have a review of applications for editing videos on smartphones, in which you can make cool, I would even say almost professional videos for your YouTube channel. I personally chose the most, in my opinion, useful applications for editing video on a phone and fast uploading to YouTube. All of them, by the way, are suitable for both Android and iOS. However, each application has its own features, pros and cons. There is no one versatile program that fits absolutely any purpose. Watch this episode to the very end and tell us in the comments whether you agree with my list or not. What is your favorite app for editing videos on a phone? And before I go to number one on my list, give your like to this video and make sure the red subscription button is gray and you have clicked on the notification bell. This will both help our channel and those YouTube creators who are looking for such useful reviews and tutorials like we make. So thank you for your support. So I start my list with GoPro Quick. As you can guess, it's an app from the orders of the famous GoPro action camera series, but you don't have to buy an action camera to use it. It's available for everyone and allows you to create videos of different styles and genres. The app has a name that speaks for itself. It helps you do quick and effortless video editing on the go. There are few features for manual editing in this one. Everything is built on templates. You simply upload your visuals, video clips you want to edit and turn into a finished video, and then the app offers you a number of templates that you can choose to fit your video style. However, we can still control several settings, for example, trimming styles. Here you can choose to cut and trim manually, or you can select from the presets like action, people, travel, etc. You can also add text to your video, adjust the cropping, volume, speed, and composition of the frame. The software allows you to make a duplicate of a clip. You need to click on the plus icon and add the missing photo or video before or after the clip. Let's not forget about nice tunes for your video. You can select music from the available built-in collection. There are some good tracks, however, in my opinion, they are more suitable for dynamic short videos than vlog videos or regular episodes of your YouTube channel. In other words, for action videos that are filmed on GoPro. However, this depends on the subject of your channel. The final settings offer you to choose a format, cinematic, square or portrait. You can also customize the length of the video piece. There are certain time marks, for example, for Instagram. You can move audio clips left and right, and of course you can add filters. It's easy to cut redundant clips, choose the moments that suit your project best, make small adjustments, and get quick editing on the go. It's hardly convenient to create a long episode to upload on YouTube in such an app, but you can safely make short clips, for example, for TikTok or Instagram. Movavi Clips. Movavi Clips set of features and options makes it a very flexible application for different purposes. You can make videos for a TikTok as well as something more serious. For example, complicated long videos for a YouTube channel. The program handles even large projects. We and Movavi Vlog once made a whole episode using only a smartphone and the Movavi Clips application. At the same time, the app is easy to learn and convenient to use. Let me show you how everything works in Movavi Clips clips. Open the application, click the plus sign and select videos or photos from your library. And yes, you can make not only videos but also slideshows with music and text using this software. Let's say I need a video. I start to browse and select those video clips that I am interested in. Preserving the order, I will probably want them to appear on the timeline. Then I choose the aspect ratio, square, vertical 9 to 16, 4 to 5, or 16 to 9 horizontal. 
I press start and the frames appear at the bottom of the timeline. The timeline can be zoomed in and out. It would seem a small feature, but it's one of the little things that makes Movavi Clips a convenient and versatile application. If you zoom in, it becomes comfortable to perform precise manipulations, cut and merge clips exactly where you need, but in this mode it's awkward to move around the project, if it's too big. Just apply zoom out and voila! Now using a smartphone app you can create quite long videos with no stress. Basic videographer tools are quite intuitive to use here. If you don't like a clip, you can remove it with a familiar swipe up or down. If you want to remove a particular part of a video, click on the scissors icon and swipe the unwanted piece away. At the bottom, there are big play button and the undo button. If you have done something wrong, you can always return everything as it was. So don't be afraid to make mistakes in editing. In order to learn how to make cool videos, you have to make a lot of mistakes on the way. Don't give up, try new ideas and bold solutions. If only there was an undo button in real life. In Movavi Clips, you'll find a toolbar that you can slide to the left and right. It starts with audio, where you can choose music or sound effects. You can select something from the built-in collection or add tunes from your phone. By the way, the built-in music library is quite good. There are tunes of different styles and genres. Also, you can record a voiceover. Yes, right on your phone. The program also allows you to rotate the frame and adjust the scale of some specific frame. If you see the black bars, for example, when you add to your video a series of photos with a different aspect ratio, the background color can be changed to another one, which you think is better. You can also add a logo, stickers and captions. The phones are few, but there are some bright options. There's a feature to rewind video and change the speed, which means you can slow down videos with high aspect and make real slow-mo videos right on your phone. As for color correction, this app offers a nice set of filters, as well as manual settings. I almost forgot about the transitions. There are some too. When the project is finished, click the floppy disk icon in the upper right corner and save the video to your gallery, or upload it to your YouTube channel right away. Movavi Clips can be used for free, yet you will have this small watermark. Or you can subscribe, then there will be no watermark. The subscription is quite affordable, by the way. Moving on. PowerDirector is the application that will give you a lot of flexibility in manual editing. However, be prepared to spend some time to look around and understand how it works. The program is not the most user-friendly for a beginner, in my opinion. Click the New Project button, choose the aspect ratio that suits your creative idea, and you'll see a timeline similar to those that can be found in software for video editing on a computer several video tracks and several audio tracks. To start with, you're offered to choose video clips. From the collection on my smartphone, I pick the videos and photos I need. After arranging and cutting the video clips, I click on the audio icon to add music and choose the desired track. By selecting one of the frames and clicking on the pencil icon, you can open even more settings that will relate to a particular clip, not the entire project or track. You will find settings such as volume, filters, speed, some effects, etc. You can do the same with an audio track. And if you click the transition icon, the transition library opens. By clicking on one of the transitions and the play button, you can preview it and check how it will look. Click the plus sign and it will apply to a specific moment on the timeline. In PowerDirector, like in Mobile Eclipse, you can make quite long and sophisticated projects. Well, for a smartphone type of video, of course. For example, a YouTube episode longer than a TikTok video or an Instagram story. If you're looking for flexible functionality, pay attention to this application. Number 3. Adobe Premiere Rush also gives you some flexibility in editing if you want to work in conjunction with projects on your computer in Adobe Premiere Pro. Create a new project and then you need to do the standard steps to start editing a video. Add media, select the right footage in the right sequence, name the project and then click Create. A minimalistic interface appears, but if you click on this icon, it becomes similar to standard video editing systems for computers. Likewise, you'll see several video tracks and several audio tracks. Here you can turn off some tracks or mute them. You can also separate the audio from the associated video clip. 
Adobe Rush allows you to move some clips to upper tracks and add titles. In the app, you'll also find transitions, color correction, filters, a video speed tool, audio controls, a crop tool, and other small but useful features, such as track zoom in and zoom out. Another great feature, you can rotate the phone horizontally and see the frames in a larger size. When you're done, click the export icon, select the export settings and click export. Perfect. The app to finish my personal top list is InShot. Many people associate it with the processing of photos for Instagram, but in fact, InShot does a great job of editing videos on your smartphone. The application will allow you to create video clips not only for Instagram stories in 9 to 16 format. There are about a dozen presets with different aspect ratios. There are the ones for TikTok and YouTube too. The standard timeline turns into a single track here. You can change the timeline scale, which is convenient. And you can also cut, trim, split, rearrange and delete clips. Perhaps for the fifth time, I will not elaborate on the standard functions of an app for video editing on a phone. Simply, I will list them. So, InShot offers the ability to add music to a video. There's a built-in collection, not all tracks are copyright-free, read the descriptions carefully. The ability to add stickers and GIFs, quite classy sets by the way, and the chance to insert text and captions in the video. And there's also something to choose from. Here, look at this cute font. Also on this app you can speed up or slow down a video, flip or rotate a frame and make a freeze frame. Personally, I like InShot the best for its color correction settings and the built-in collections of filters and effects. Most of the cool ones are paid, but even among the free ones you can choose something. That will be all for today. I hope this video will help you find an app for editing on your phone which meets your needs. See you very soon. My name is Roman. This is Mobile Vlog. Bye-bye.